Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we'll be talking about a no-name knife that I got from my local no-name dollar store. Every town has got those little no-name dollar stores. It just has random knickknacks inside. And I've got one, and it's got some knives that I've gotten in the past that are not the worst, actually, for a dollar twenty-five. <clears throat> this one being a pruning knife, advertised as a pruning garden knife. Kind of an imitation of the Victorinox one, as far as I can tell. It has these cheapo plastic scales. Not bad. It's really not that much blade play. There's a little bit. I mean, it's $1.25, but it's not like all over the place. And it does come sharp, which is surprising. Quite sharp, actually. And then I like to hone it on some leather over here, you know, just for aesthetics. But yeah, it's a nice little sheep's foot blade. There's not much to review here. It's a nice little sheep's foot blade. You might see one of these at your local no-name dollar store. I don't know. But, you know, it's not bad for a dollar. If you want, like, a, you know, your son's first knife or something. You know? Get him this. It'd be great. It's the detent, it's a slip joint. It's not that great, but it's not that bad. Yeah, that does snap into place pretty good. But, you know, it's a good sheep's foot blade. I'm a sucker for a sheep's foot. Um, of course, the other knife is all the way over there. If you'll pardon me one moment. As you can see... Sucker for sheep's foot. I love these drop, the, the way the blade drops. And I just love the, the functionality of them. So. For $1.25, I think that's pretty good. So, thank you for watching this short video. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, carry well.